much. The best, Sam. I can't remember the last time it rained toads. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you an all-important news flash. Violent atmospheric conditions are threatening the very existence of the planet. We urge all of you to take cover. This is it! The apocalypse! The end of all we know! We now return you to our program of dance music. Sounds like a pestilence such as the world has never known is being dumped upon us. Otherwise, it's a pretty slow night. Nothing else to do but hit the diner. No shirt, no shoes, no souvlaki. <laughs> That's funny. At least pants are optional. Well, what's good tonight, Fry Cook? It is a sign. The end of the world is upon us. The Olympian gods are in total disharmony. I see cataclysm, disaster, and the pickup on the blue plate special. I'm feeling like, uh, hummus. Hold it, Sam. It's a prophecy from Tiresias, the verbally impaired Susan Short Order cook. Right you are, Max. Sounds like dissension and disharmony on Mount Olympus. Do you realize what this means? I sure do, little pal. Make that hummus to go. Well, here we are on Mount Olympus, home to cloud-dwelling mythological folk draped in diaphanous robes. This must be where all the gods hang out. By Harry's hairpin. Look! It's a domestic squabble of godlike proportions. Husband, you have wronged me for the final time. No longer will I stand idly by as you cavort with all manners of nymphs, muses, and fairies. Foolish goddess, you question the will of Zeus? I may be juggling hedgehogs in the Hamptons here, but I'd say Zeus and Hera's marital tip is the cause of all that meteorological hoo-ha back home. Who dares trespass in the palace of Zeus, son of Cronus, slayer of Uranus? We are Sam and Max, champions of justice, tormentors of Roman-featured bearded guys in loose-fitting jammies. Pay no attention to my melon-headed associate. We are mere mortals who humbly offer our services as freelance marriage counselors to the gods. Your arrival in our midst is fortuitous. My wife speaks true. Our blessed union is in peril. It must be saved or all will perish with it. I see what you mean. Now it's raining bison on Buffalo. That feels sort of right somehow. Heed this warning. The consequences of failure will weigh heavily upon you. For to waste the time of a god is to waste your own time tenfold. If, by the allotted time, you have not relit the fire of their passion, you will be reduced to aged, wrinkled sacks of your former selves. Good luck, eh? I'd say we best shift our marriage-saving hides into high gear before our pensions kick in. Today on Sam and Max, Mythological marriages. Are they really matches made in the heavens? Let's find out. With us today is a couple who we'll simply refer to as Zeus and Hera X. Now, Zeus, Hera says that you've stopped paying attention to her and that you show much more interest in nymphs, muses, fairies, and fates. Fact or fiction? This is ridiculous. Zeus, you're blocking. Remember, we're doing this for you and Hera. Let us in. Well, of course it isn't true. Hera is my beloved. No one before or after has captured my heart such as she. Is that so? Audience, say hello to Aphrodite! <laughs> Classic bone structure. I bet she knows all the state capitals, too. See you around, Zeus. Not if I see you first, Enchantress! You see, it's not my fault. My wife's a shrill harpy. <laughs> Now, Hera, Zeus tells me you act out your jealousy by reconstituting his nieces into horrible, disgusting former spokesmodels. She does. It's really getting out of hand. I do not. Really? <laughs> Audience, please welcome Nanette, Babette, Yvette, and Miss Tennessee. All right. I lose my temper and sometimes lash out. But I only do it because I love him so. <laughs> With us today is an expert on matters of the heart. Cupid, we'd like to hear your thoughts. The love is there, Sam. I can feel it. But in order to experience true love once again, Zeus and Hera must give themselves over to Cupid's arrows of desire. Perpetrator is armed and dangerous. Drop it, Cupid! Drop the weapon! Uh-oh. 
Oh, Sam. Run for it, little buddy. She's got marrying on her mind. <laughs> Enough of this. Your time grows short. Well, I'll be. Those zany gods are turning us into genial old folks right before our very eyes. Great. Now we can fuss and moan and never lift a finger. If you are truly fit to save our union, the time is now. We couldn't have said it better ourselves, Hera, because we've cooked up a little surprise for you. What Hera doesn't know is that Zeus wants to renew those tired old wedding vows. I do. Save that for the ceremony, Zeus. That's right, folks. He's gonna pop the question right here on our show. Well, Hera, what's your answer? Of course I'll marry you, my love. Congratulations, you two. And as a special added bonus, we've arranged for you to renew your vows in beautiful, intoxicating Las Vegas! Home of high stakes excitement, showbiz glitter, and reasonably priced all you can eat buffets. <laughs> they grow up so fast, don't they? They got nothing on us. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today for a $59.95 deluxe wedding package with complimentary passes to the Buddy Hackett experience. Do you have the license? Thank you. Don't you mean Donkey Shane? Leave it alone, Max. He knows bad men. Please hand the ring to the groom and repeat after me. Where's the groom? Where's, Where's the, the groom? groom? No, really. Where is the groom? Yes, dance, my children. Dance for Zeus. <laughs> That's it. We're through. I'm moving back to the condo on Crete. You have bungled for the last time. Farewell, freelance police. This is it, old friend. I sense my dog years are thoroughly numbered. I guess I can still gum evildoers with my toothless maw in the little time we have left. Actually, I'd like to swing by the Mount Olympus gift shop again. I think I overpurchased. Me too. This footlocker I bought doesn't even have any feet in it. That's Pandora's box, old pal. You've just unwittingly liberated all the ills and horrors of society. It's Vegas. Who's gonna notice? Hey, there's something in here. It's a keychain, and it's shaped like a lady with snakes for hair. That would be the mythical Gorgon Medusa, Max. One glimpse of her chilling countenance is rumored to turn even the most casual observer into stone. That is, if you buy in any of this mythological hubbub. <laughs> Which, of course, I do. Fortunately, I always carry protective Medusa-proof headgear for just such occurrences. Recognize it, my love. You gave it to me on our first date. You mean the time we took arms against my father and defeated the multi-headed Hydra? Wasn't that the best? We can still conjure up the old magic, can't we? Let this holder of loose keys stand as a testament to our undying love. <laughs> Oops, my fault. Allow me. Oh. <laughs> Holy Hannah, hold the phone. I'm young again. And I'm a less inviting target for roosting pigeons. You have triumphed well, Sam and Max. Our sacred knot has been retied. The gods of Olympus are in your debt. To commemorate this vast occasion, you, the freelance police, are to be made titans. Gods among men. Ooh, gods among men. I have to change my stationery. From this moment forth, you, Sam, shall be the god of high caloric snackin' cakeage. The legends! They're true! And you, Max, shall be the god of vulgar novelty items. And they really, really work. I can even see right through those loose-fitting diaphanous robes. Insolent mortal! Why, you little... Came to Mount Olympus for to share the company of a pair of gods who were at odds with matrimony. 